Hey guys, Todd from Sideshow FX again, and today I'm going to introduce you to our newest product, which is AEFX Shortcuts and Profiles Complete Collection. Now what this is, is these are touch portal and stream deck profiles that provide a shortcut to every single effect in After Effects 2020 and earlier versions. So every effect that's built into After Effects, there's a shortcut for it. Now how it works, very simple. You're in After Effects, you want to apply an, an effect to a layer, select the layer, and on your device, simply click the button of the effect you want, it automatically is applied. Same thing with the Stream Deck device. You have the layer selected, press the button of the effect that you want, it's automatically applied. And this works for both Mac and Windows. In addition, there are shortcuts to some of the best third-party plugin packages available up there for After Effects, including Boris Continuum, FX Factory, the Red Giant Library, Boris Sapphire, Video Copilot, Plugin Everything, and Boris FX Mocha. So if you own any of these packages, the shortcuts to those effects will be active for you. So all told, that's over 1,100 shortcuts already programmed in these profiles. Now I'm going to show you how to install these profiles very quick. Or if you want to see it in action in more detail, you can skip ahead the installation and see the different ways you can use it. And later I'm also going to show you the real power of it is customizing it for your own workflow, building your own pages. It's very quick to build your own pages and you can have the effects you use most often right in front of you at your fingertips. So let's dig in. So the very first thing you need to do is to go over on your browser to videocopilot.net and you want to download their FX console plugin. It's a free plugin that runs inside After Effects. It's very lightweight and it's a wonderful add-on to After Effects. While you're here, look around, maybe pick something else up that you're interested in. Lots of great stuff here. So on the FX console page here, which the link is provided below, you just scroll down to the download button and here's in the middle of the, uh, of the application. And once installed, I believe it defaults to the shortcut command of control space. And you see, you get this little window pop up here. Now, if it doesn't launch by control space, you hit the gear icon here to access the preferences of the, of the plugin. And just make sure that this shortcut is set to control space. There's different other options here. You can even customize your own if you want, but this needs to be control space in order for these profiles to work. So once that's set, control space, double check it, control space on your keyboard, launches it, it's great. Now the next thing you need to do, this is what your download will look like of the AEFX Complete Collection once you've unzipped it. There's a user presets folder here. Now these presets need to be loaded into your presets folder in After Effects and to detail exactly where that is. Uh, there is a PDF here in the download as well. When you open that up, uh, this page shows you exactly where you need to put it. But, so we'll just do that right now on the Mac. We'll just run, we'll just drag this Sideshow Effects user presets folder and it's gonna go in the directory I just showed you in the PDF. So here it is here After Effects and this is my version 2020. Your version might be different and it goes into this user presets folder. And since I already have mine there, I won't drag it over. And you'll of course need to restart After Effects for those presets to become active. The next thing to do is depending on what device you're running, whether it's a Stream Deck or, or a Touch Portal. So let's say you have a Stream Deck device. We'll handle that one first. If you've got a Touch Portal software, and you want to see the installation of that, just skip through the Stream Deck installation. On Stream Deck, you very likely might have a main menu. This is my main menu showing uh, just some of the profiles that this will launch. You're likely familiar with the uh, how to set things up, but we'll just go through it quickly here. The uh, gear icon gets us into the preferences. So we'll switch over to profiles here and you'll see on the left hand pane, it's selecting which device I'm going to be working because I have a regular 15 key stream deck as well as my XL. Uh, it's now showing me the profiles for the XL. There is a profile included in this download for the 15 key as well as the XL. So whichever device you have, make sure that's selected. And then we'll 
click this downward arrow and select import. And we will navigate to our downloaded folder of the AEFX Complete Collection. And in the Stream Deck folder, depending on which OS you're operating in, Windows or Mac, and which device you're working with, the XL or the regular. So I'm on a Mac with an XL. Double click that. This is the file I would import. I've already got it loaded, so I won't double click this. But you load that in, and it will appear here. When we exit out of the preferences, we can hop over to it. It's called After Effects FX. And this is the entire profile library all ready for us to use. One thing you want to make sure of is that this button should be working to go back to your home key. The profile is home. If you've relabeled your home profile, you may have to change this to go back to your main Stream Deck screen. I'm going to jump to the main Stream Deck screen. And I want to create a link to that profile I just included. So on the screen, selecting a blank button, I'm going to use Switch Profile, drag it to the blank button, and I'm going to change it to go to the After Effects FX profile I just imported. And if you like, there's a handy little icon that was included in the download. In the Icons folder, there is a AEFX icon. You can drag and drop onto that button. Now you can access the AEFX profile that you just imported. And as you can see from the Stream Deck device I have on the desktop here, I can just click on this button that takes us to the AEFX profile and it's all loaded for us. So with the Touch Portal installation, the first thing you want to do is go to your download folder of the AEFX Complete Collection. And you're going to copy the contents of these two folders in the Touch Portal folder that's supplied. Once again, the PDF details exactly where you need to put these. On page six, it shows you. I'll go over here for you. I've got my Touch Portal folder, which is in the Users uh, Documents folder. So I'm going to open up each one of these, select everything, and drag them over to the appropriate folder. This is the Icons folder, so the contents of those go in the Icons folder itself. Now I've already got them loaded, so I'm not going to do that at the moment. But you would drag the entire contents to the Icons, and same thing with Pages. Drag the entire contents, select all, drag them all over to the Pages folder. Now once you've done that, when you go to your drop-down list in your Touch Portal software, you will see all the AEFX pages ready to go. But in order to get to them from the main page, we have to create a button to send us there. As you can see on our tablet, we have the main menu, but we have no way to get into all those pages we just imported. So what we need to do, select a blank button on our main page, and let's just drop an icon on there for now. And there's an icon in the root folder of the icons menu of your download. We can drag and drop it onto that blank button, say yes. And we'll click on it to enter in, and let's just make it full size, first of all. And on the left-hand menu, we're going to go to Page, and at the drop-down list, you should see all the AEFX pages we just dragged into the Pages folder. Among them, you will scroll down and see AEFX Main. Select that, add it. Then when we save, when we select the button from the tablet, that brings us into the main page of our AEFX Complete Collection. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the profiles in action. So we're in After Effects now, and I've got just a basic circle here. If you've seen the promo for our pack, you'll know the circle's name is Wilbur. So I want to apply an effect to this layer. Let's say I want to apply a blur. So we just simply select the layer. So we'll go over to our Stream Deck device. Now you'll see that uh, the way the menu is set up is identical to the menu in After Effects itself. So if you go uh, into Effect, it's divided up into 
the same menu system where you got 3D channel and then you have audio. I have third party filters here, so I'll skip through those. And then you got blur and sharpen, etc. So they're all set up the same way. Just run over to the stream deck here. We're going to blur and sharpen and we have all of our blurs available to us here. And let's select a radio blur and it applies it for us. And you see it pops up here in the effect controls. Okay, let's undo that. We'll do the same thing, but we'll do it on the touch portal. Same thing, so making sure our layer is selected, go to blur and sharpen and apply, let's apply a different one here. We can do a directional blur. And there we have our directional blur all set up. It's as simple as that, very straightforward. And on the devices, you want to step back to your main menu, you've got the arrow button there to get you back to your main menu. Let's undo that effect. Now you notice along the bottom, we also have uh, menus here for third-party plugin effects. We've got the Boris Continuum, FX Factory, Plugin Everything, Red Giant, Boris Sapphire, Video Copilot, and Boris FX Mocha. So if you have these effects packages installed on your system, we can go to, the, say, the Boris one, and uh, let's select uh, its set of blurs, and you can select just the way you do the built-in effects, you just select whichever effect you want. Now, if you didn't have the Boris package installed on your system, it would just result in no action. It just it wouldn't give you an error message. It just wouldn't do anything. And also, you'll see in this main menu, if you don't have the Boris library, for example, you can hit this button to get Boris Continuum, and it will open a browser to the Boris page so that you can go through and download either the trial or purchase the package itself. And all of the third-party pages have that feature. So it's set up the same way. FX Factory has its own menu and jump in and all of their effects are organized by the menu items. Same thing with plug in everything. Red Giant divided up into their packages, Magic Bullet, Shooter, Trap Code Universe and Visual Effects. Boris Sapphire, same thing. We have all of their effects ready to go here. Video Copilot, and uh, Boris FX Mocha. Now, one other added thing here you'll notice is that with the Boris Sapphire, the FX Factory, and the Boris Continuum packages, they each have a library of transitions. And in the Transitions section, we've got animated GIFs showing what each transition looks like. So that's the Boris package. Hop back out, go to the Red Giant in the Universe, and into transitions, and it shows all of these transitions taking place. Same thing with FX Factory. And Boris Sapphire's transitions as well. And this one has quite a few transitions. There's a second page we can jump to there. So we tap twice to come back out. The same thing with the Stream Deck. Stream Deck offers the same thing. The performance of the GIFs aren't quite as quick as they are on the tablet, but you still get the idea. Now back in After Effects here, we can see that we've got an effect applied. Let's say we want to apply a uh, another effect on top of that while our layer is selected. Let's jump to the Distort menu. Let's put a bender on there and let's do a bend on it as well. Now since I have moved an effect on the effect controls and I try to apply, let's say, uh, a different effect here, such as bulge, it will still work because the layer is still active. So you can continue to add effects. I can hop out of here, I can hop into a third party plugin, I can Let's say we want to put Deep Glow on there. And there you go. And if we can just keep on adding, let's go into the Boris package. Let's do a stylize. Let's do LED. And there you go. So we compound all the effects. Now there is a little bit of bouncing around out of menus and into menus, the same as you would uh, by using the effect menu, coming down and finding things. The, the real power comes in being able to customize this. Now that's the thing with the uh, 
uh, effect menu here, you're at the mercy of however After Effects organizes all of your, your effects. Well, with the profile, we can create pages suited to our own workflow. And let me show you how that works. Let's first of all start uh, in, uh, in Touch Portal and designing our own page. So let's say that the way our workflow is, we use a lot of blurs and we use, and we use a lot of glows and we have all these different packages. Well, it would be good if we could, were to combine all of our blurs and all of our glows into one page so, there, so that we don't have to bounce around between menus. So in Touch Portal here, we'll create a new page. We'll just title it AE FX Blurs Glows. We say OK. Creates the page for us and takes us right there. I'm going to increase the grid size here by going 6 by, let's just say 6 by 4 for now. And I'm going to jump to, and you can see that our page we just created is right there. But I'm going to jump to our standard blur and sharpen page. And I want to copy some of these to that new page. Let's say I use the camera lens and I use radial blur and a Gaussian blur routinely. So if I hit Command M, or I think it's Control M on the Windows machine, that gets us into the multi-selection mode of Touch Portal. And now I can select the ones that I want to copy. Sometimes, depending on how you have your buttons set up, I've noticed that if you go into Maximize Space, you can see the outline. If you don't have Maximize Space on, the outline doesn't show up. So it's just a bit of a gotcha. You've got to be careful about that. So let's turn Maximize Space on just for our selection. So you can see I've got Camera Lens Blur, Gaussian Blur, and Radial Blur selected. Now I'm going to hit Command C to copy those. I'm going to hop over with my multi selection still on with the blue menu here. It tells you you're still in multi selection mode. Go to the new page we're creating, which is the FX Blurs and Glows. And we have different ways we can paste this in here. I'm just going to do a, a straight Command V at the moment, which is just paste. And by clicking this blue bar, it gives you the information here and shows you the different options of how you can copy and paste. But for now, let me just do a command V to copy those. It'll ask if you're going to overwrite these buttons. Yes, we are. And it pasted them in the exact same place they came from in the previous page. Now, of course, we're free to move them wherever we like. Now, let's say there's some glows that I want to pull in here, too, from the regular package. Let's go down to Stylize, and that's where we'll find some glows in the built-in package. So I've got a glow right here. I want to copy that one over as well. So I will go into Command-M, into the multi-selection mode. I can select Maximize Button Space just to see my outline. There it is there. Copy. I'm going to take that off and go back into our blurs and glows page and I'm going to paste in here say yes and it's putting it in the spot that it came from but let's say and I can move that up there now since I have the Boris package I want to pull in the Boris blurs and glows and put them in here as well so let's hop over to the Boris page BCC Blur. And let's say I want this Spiral and I want this Motion Blur. So let's just maximize the button space again to see that outline. Command M puts us in multi-selection mode. Select that one just by clicking it and select BCC Spiral just by clicking it. There's no command, there's no modifier keys. They're just clicking them. Command C to copy. I'm going to take this off again. Run back out to our blurs and glows. Now if we click here on the click for more information, it gives us the different options of pasting that we can do. So the, the Command W soft paste will move the buttons we're pasting to a free position. So 
in that example, let's say I've got this selected here, our first button, and I select Command, if I were to select Command V right now, it would paste over top of these buttons, which is not what we want. So Command W will find the next free space and paste them from that spot. So I've got this selected, Command W, say yes, and they get pasted, starting from the first free spot. So let's say there's a glow that I want from the Boris package. It's under, I believe, the lights section. Let's go into the multi-selection mode. I'm going to turn on the maximize button space so I can see my outline. Select that one. Select this one. Command C for copy. Go back to our blurs and glows. And let's do another Command W to paste them in. And it pastes them in the place they were in on the previous page. And if there were buttons there, it would not overwrite them, it would put them to the next free space. So you can see how quickly I can design my own pages with the effects that I use most often. Now the thing you'll notice, if we go back to our AEFX main page, if we go over to the, the uh, tablet here, we, we don't have access to that page we just built. We have no way of getting to it. So we've got to build that. So on the Touch Portal software, we go to the AEFX main page, and we want to create a button that will direct us there. So select the first empty button, and this whole row of buttons is free and available. So we'll just click on it for now. We'll say go to page, and we'll pull down to that blurs and glows page we just created. Say OK, and just for now, we're going to do blurs, glows just to label it so we know that, uh, that it's there. Now you can see on our tablet, we have it available to us. We click on that and there's the menu we just created. Now if we hop over to After Effects, since these were already pre-programmed, I'm gonna get rid of all the effects I've got in here already. See with the layer selected, now I wanna apply CS Spiral Blur. And there we go, we have it applied. And now I want some puffy glows and there we go. Now, if I want to go back to the main page, if I select this, it's going to send me back to my main touch portal page. It's not what we want, so we got to go back to our blurs and glows. And we want to change the direction of this. It's saying go to the main page. We want to go to the AEFX main page. Scroll down to that, select that one, say add and save. Now, when we press this button, we go back to the AEFX main page. Same thing with Stream Deck. So we have some free keys here. The way we're going to build a new one is by creating a folder. So we drag this create folder to a blank button. And you see an arrow here. We're going to have to select this arrow here or just double click. And we're inside a new page, that, uh, a new blank page for ourselves. So let's say that we want to pull in some of our blurs. So we go to the blur and sharpen and it's a little different that we can't multi-select in Stream Deck. We do have to do them one at a time, but it still is fairly quick. So we can right click on any one of the buttons we want, copy, hop back out, go into the folder and say paste. It's done. Go back into Blur and Sharpen and let's select Lens Blur and we'll paste in a free one. Same thing with Boris, going to Boris, going to the blurs, and let's select the spiral blur. Copy, back into here, and we paste. And you can see the Stream Deck updates as soon as I make a change. So taking a look at the Stream Deck, I'm going to go back into Boris here. I'm going to select from the stylize, actually no, select from the, uh, the lights, I'll select those Puffy clouds, copy, into here, and we want to paste. So now we're, we very quickly created a page for ourselves of the effects that we use most often. Hopping into After Effects. Let's get rid of these effects. Layer selected. Let's put on our Spiral Blur. And let's put on the Puffy Rays. So head over to aescripts.com to the Sideshow Effects page. You'll see our library of titles there, and there you will find AEFX Shortcut Icons and Profiles package. And hopefully these will make your workflow 
faster and more efficient. Until next time, take care.